Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a cool little device I've been using lately. It's the, called a Turbox and it's basically a device that calls up keyboard shortcuts for you. So whenever you're working on a, a computer, uh, it can work in all kinds of applications. Uh, instead of using a keyboard, you're using this. Now, do you have to use it? No, obviously you don't. But if you want to speed up your workflow, uh, then this definitely can come in handy. Now, there's a lot of these devices already uh, available and they've been available for a long time. So what what is the reason why I'm using this particular one versus some of the other ones and also how I use it? It's kind of what I'm going to show you in today's video. Uh, so the first thing is I'll kind of tell you what I like about it is it's small, compact and it's very unique. What I mean by that is that kind of basically you can operate it here or just, you know, just you can rest your hand on it. And once you have your hand on it, because every button is designed differently and has different shapes and textures to it and things like that, it just means that it's very easy to kind of to remember and kind of almost work by muscle memory, which is, you know, kind of how we usually work with our keyboards. Uh, and you can program this obviously to work with whatever application you want. So when you install this uh, program and the, the software that it comes with, uh, you're gonna get right away presets for uh, Photoshop and Lightroom because it is per perfectly designed for photo retouching. Now that's not really where I'm gonna show you how I use it. I actually use it to speed up my editing workflow. There's actually presets already for Adobe Premiere and, and plus people share their own custom presets so you can download a ton of these for Premiere, After Effects, all that stuff. I am going to show you how I actually edit in uh, DaVinci Resolve using this thing uh, and, and, and kind of my presets, you know, that I set up. Now, one of the reasons why I really like this particular one versus some of the other surfaces is, like I said, it's small, but it's very well built, like it doesn't slide around on the table. Uh, it's, you know, it's not that heavy, but it's at the same time, it doesn't feel like this light little thing where it's just gonna kind of, like I said, kind of feel flimsy in your hand. So it's well built. Now the main thing for me though is, is like I said before, is that it, all the buttons are, are very different from each other and kind of just the layout and the texture of the buttons uh, and the size of them. All those things means that it's something that you can very quickly get used to so that you don't have to look down at it anymore and you know when you're operating it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of these kind of surfaces, you know, kind of control surfaces. This is one of the, the ones that I got. And a lot of them have cool ideas. This one has this magnetic thing. What I, you know, one of the reasons why I, I almost never do videos about these things is because when I started using them, uh, because a lot of this, by the way, is, you know, like just like the Turbox, the company sent this to me, you know, to kind of try it out. The same thing with this one and many of these other surfaces. When I get these things, uh, basically the companies go, hey Tom, you know, why don't you try it out in your workflow? Hopefully you like it. Maybe you can, you know, do a video about it on your channel. Well, I'll tell you a lot of times I don't talk about these devices and I never review them. The reason is because although they might have a lot of good things, like for example, this one, uh, you know, has these sliders, has knobs and buttons, and like I said, you can customize it and you can get all these cool things, but you'll notice all the buttons are basically the same. Like all the knobs are the same, all the buttons are the same. And I find it that it gets very quickly, very confusing. And so for me, at least, I know some people love this one, uh, uh, but whether it's this surface or some of the other ones I've tried, a lot of times it's just, I, I, I don't like to have a tool where I have to kind of break my concentration, take my eyes off the screen and kind of look and, okay, where am I pressing all that stuff? Cause that just slows me down. So. If, you know, a lot of times I'm just used to using the keyboard on my laptop or on my desktop computer. So if I have that muscle memory built into the keyboard, then I'm just going to stick to using a keyboard. Well, what's cool about the, the Turbox is, like I said, is it's kind of allows you to really customize the, the living crap out of this thing because you can add a lot of you know, combinations. You can do like double press or, for example, if you press one button and another button, like combinations and things like that. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, so, and you can really customize it to how you like working with it. But like I said, it's something that once you've set it all up to how you like it, you just use it for literally a few hours and you're gonna remember it. It's just, it's something you don't have to take your eyes, eyes away from the screen. Look at the surface just so you can find the right button, basically. That, that, that's, that's what I like about this, is that it's, like I said, it has that unique design. And it also is something that kind of fits in this one hand. So uh, whether you're working, like I'm going to show you here in DaVinci Resolve while I'm editing, uh, or for example, I've used it actually uh, when I have, a, a, you know, like a, like a monitor, like a tablet where I'm painting. And then it's really good because then I, uh, you usually have the keyboard off to the side somewhere, but 
having this little thing on, on my left hand while I'm painting with my right hand, again, comes in really handy. Um, so anyway, so right hand now I'm going to show you guys here in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I just have some <laughs> random clips I just threw in there. But basically, uh, kind of we'll go through, through the whole kind of layout and how I set this up. Now keep in mind, obviously, you can set it up however you want to. Uh, it comes here with the software, so if you look at the software, like for example, if I click this button, so it takes me now to that button and it shows me. So this is my main tool. This one's my cut cutting tool. This is, for example, select all. Like things like that that I have uh, preset in there. Uh, for example, here the left button is undo. Again, you know, just keep in mind that you can customize all of these things. And like I was showing you, you can even do things like, for example, like double pressing some of these buttons or doing combinations like this button, that button, what it will do, which I haven't even set up up here because so far I haven't really found a need for that. But again, in the future, if I know that I want to add extra functionality to this, I know that I have a lot more things that I can program with it than just the number of buttons that I have on the on the surface. So anyways, let me jump in uh, here to DaVinci Resolve. Now, by the way, my preset for Turbox, if you guys like this, what I have, then I'm actually gonna share it. So you'll be able to uh, just follow follow the download link down in the description of this video and you'll be able to find uh, my preset for this if you already own uh, Turbox. Anyways, my first I'll show you here is this kind of the scroll wheel. What does it do? Well, for me, one thing I really love doing when I'm editing is always, I, I find myself at least always zooming in and out out of the timeline. And uh, it, this just makes it really easy. I can like zoom in, go, you know, frame by frame, for example, and then I can zoom out quickly, jump to the next frame, next clip, all that stuff. And it just, again, it just makes zooming in and zooming out a lot quicker. So that's kind of what I programmed this for. This scroll wheel, I programmed it so that I can scroll on the timeline. So again, I can do very slowly frame by frame or I can go to go faster. So that's the kind of cool thing about it. So again, it's like a nice scroll wheel so you can, you know, nicely scroll through the, the timeline. This wheel, it actually has two functions. Uh, you can scroll it up and down or you can press it. So it also has a button built into it. So what I did is I basically programmed it. So when I scroll up, you see it basically plays forward. If I scroll down, plays back. If I scroll down even more, it will speed up this playback basically forward or back. So you, I can play back really fast or really slow either direction. And if I want to, I can just press on it and it will pause it, pause the playback. So that's kind of a, you know, again, something that I, I personally find that tool be, you know, to be helpful. Um, what's this tool here? Well, this is the snapping tool. So for example, if I zoom out here now and let's say I'm scrolling and right now I don't have, you know, the snapping tool on, but let's say I want to like get to the beginning of this clip. Well, again, I press the button and now my snap tool here, which is basically this one here, uh, it just takes me right to it. So I just find that, that again, it's, it's something that I like to sometimes like turn on and off depending on how accurate I want to get and if, if I want to be able to snap to a, to, to a cut or somewhere, something like that. Um, what's the next thing? Oh, next thing is, for example, this top button, I set it for uh, select all. And that's because a lot of times like I, I want to grab all the clips, let's say, and move them in the timeline. Now another cool thing uh, also that you can do, which uh, or uh, that I did at least, uh, is these two buttons. So for example, the left one I did it, which is select everything before. So again, right now I only have this one clip, so it selects that for me. The right button here is select everything uh, after. Uh, so after basically, uh, you know, your cursor on the timeline. And that's because like a lot of times, like for example, if I'll make like a cut here, uh, here I go like that. And then let's say I want to select all the clips after, move them. That's, you know, a lot of times I find myself doing that and let's say then reorder maybe this clip there, things like that. And I just find that to be, you know, again, something that's useful to, to me, uh, which then takes me to these two buttons. So this button, like I said uh, previously, and kind of just showed you just now. So if I press this button, it takes me to my main basic cursor tool. Now, if I press this button, the short one on the right side, then uh, it takes me to my cutting tool. So that's how I can, for example, uh, like, let's see if I want to go here and uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, make a cut like exactly right there. Again, I can do that. Um, and then go back to my tool, my main tool, and then let's say I can move this or, you know, again, adjust my edit, things like that. Uh, what are these buttons then? So these buttons are gonna be like, let's say if I wanted to copy this, so I'll press up, that copies, uh, the, the clip that I've selected or, or the various clips. And then down, if I press, I just paste it. So just pasted it over this one. 
Uh, now, if, if let me undo that. So I'll show you right away. My undo button is the one here on the left. And that's just simply because I don't want to accidentally, first of all, press undo. Uh, but also it's yeah, and, and it's kind of out of the way. It's I find it that it's you know It's kind of again. I don't usually reach there unless I know I want to undo something. So anyways, that's my undo button uh, So uh, down like I said on, on here on this keypad down is paste uh, Left is gonna be here if I select this one like let's say here we have this color grade. So I'm gonna copy this and Then let's say up here. Let's say I want to put that clip now in there. So basically paste insert so you see it puts it there now I'm gonna undo and then the right button if I right click it it will basically paste the attributes from the clip that I just copied so again if I want to copy the you know the scaling the color grading all that stuff I can do that and that's pretty much in a nutshell kind of how I have it and and again like if you look at it I can quickly zoom in zoom out scroll in detail I can really see for example what I'm doing find the exact frame that I want it just, again, it just speeds up my workflow. And it's not something, obviously, that it's necessary. You can edit and do everything, you know, that you're doing, whether it's in, in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, or uh, maybe you're doing photo retouching again in Photoshop or, or whatever other application. Obviously, you can I'll use those programs without anything like this. But considering how cheap this is, by the way, comparing it to the competition, how small, easy it is to travel, and how cool it is, you know, just with its layout and, and the, the fact that you can really customize it to really suit your needs. Again, I, I, I would say if you want to speed your workflow, give this a try and you're going to see just how much faster you're going to get. Because again, you're not going to be, you know, even just sometimes, like I said, reaching over the keyboard and pressing one button and then do another, another. So you can do those common tasks that you're doing in your application that adds up over a period of let's say an eight, eight ten hour or you know, let's be honest if we're editing some kind of project it's usually like 12 14 hour days that we're doing so when you're spending that many hours constantly reaching over the keyboard or, or looking for for a, you know a button that you forget or something it adds up over over that many hours whereas again this thing just makes it really really quick so again if you want to speed up your workflow Turbox, get it follow the links in the description also follow the links if you want to get my preset for this uh this cool little device uh, for davinci resolve and uh, as always uh, just head on over to my website tomantasfilms.com and uh, while you're there subscribe to my newsletter so you're staying top uh, of videos like these or filmmaking tutorials and all, all kinds of cool stuff that i have uh, over there Anyways, my name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.